New tonight, a Beaumont mom says her son with disabilities was discriminated against on the city bus. The city claims outbursts from her son caused a safety risk for people on board. 12 News reporter Jordan Foster is live in Beaumont. And Jordan, you sat down with the family today. That's right, this kid is four years old and his mom says he's developmentally delayed. So every bus ride for him from time to time can feel like a roller coaster and he can tend to get excited sometimes. But last Tuesday, it was that same excitement that almost got him and his family kicked off the bus. I am his voice. I'm going to speak out for him. Glendale Green Jr. is four years old and loves riding the bus. And even though he has a speech impediment, he loves buses so much. What is this baby? What's that? Last Tuesday, he caught the bus with his mom, Shakita Haynes, and her grandson at this stop on Magnolia Street. But things quickly escalated once the two kids became excited about the ride. When the bus takes off, he gets excited. He loves buses. And the first thing he said was, ooh, mommy, mommy, bus, bus. She said, you're going to have to keep those kids quiet back there while I'm driving the bus. Haynes said after a few more outbursts of excitement, the driver pulled over and threatened to kick her and the two kids off the bus. I say, ma'am, this is a kid with developmental delays. He's just an innocent kid talking on the bus. I say, I've heard old people talking on the bus talking about the weather that's louder than it. We did reach out to the city of Beaumont. Chris Boone, the city's director of planning and urban development, says the bus driver asked Haynes to quiet her kids, and that led to a heated exchange between Haynes and the driver. The city claims Haynes got into the driver's face, and the driver responded by pulling over and asking them to get off the bus. I was just letting the bus driver know, hey, pick on someone your own size. You don't pick with a little kid. He hasn't done nothing wrong. Haynes said afterwards she went to the city to complain about the way the situation was handled and at one point was even told to consider taking a different route. Why should I have to, you know, go to another bus stop when a bus stop is right here by my home? It's an incident the city continues to investigate. And we did receive a statement from the city and it says, quote, safety is always the number one priority for our passengers and we're looking for a solution that accommodates both sides. And we've learned since then that there is surveillance video of that incident and 12 News is working tonight to get our hands on that video. For now, I'm live in Beaumont, Jordan Foster, 12 News.